got some more breaking news on Capitol Hill where New York Congressman George Santos just announced that he will run for office again. Back with me is NBC News senior Capitol Hill correspondent Garrett Haig. So, Garrett, how does this work? The New York GOP is not on his side. I had the Nassau County Commissioner on this show saying that Santos was a disgrace and that he believes he should resign. That's the feeling of, among New York um, or the New York Republican Party. Is he going to have the support of congressional Republicans? Is the National Party going to get behind him? It sure doesn't look that way. I mean, you've heard from members of his own delegation suggesting he should resign or that he should be primaried. I don't think he's going to have the glide path that he had in 2022. And remember, that was part of it. He had already run once before. He got beat pretty badly in 2020. In 2022, nobody was paying particularly close attention to this seat, and he was able to take advantage of that. I think you could argue that George Santos is probably one of the 10 or 15 most well-known congressmen in the country right now, not for great reasons. And so I don't think he's going to have that same uh, path in front of him in the next cycle. Also, by the way, Katie, he has no money. In the financial disclosure forms for the first quarter that just came out, he has only about $25,000 in his campaign bank account. All the money that he raised in the first quarter went to paying back donors from his last campaign who asked for refunds. That dog don't hunt in the most expensive media market in the country. So um, George Santos is in for re-election. He almost certainly will not be alone in a Republican primary field, and he will almost certainly, if he survives that, face a Democratic candidate who will be paying much closer attention yeah. this cycle.